video is going to be a little bit different than the normal DIY video or the how-to video that I've been posting. I'm going to actually talk to you guys a little bit about how I'm storing all of my um, Christmas ornaments. Now I have tons of Christmas ornaments and many of them I store like in different themes. So I'll have like a bunch of owl ornaments or I'll have like the snowflake ornaments and I'll box those up and package those up all individually so that they're all together and I usually label it. But then I also have a bunch of ornaments that are that are like the Hallmark style ornaments and we've been collecting them every year since Sean and I have been together and we started collecting them for our kids. So we actually have three huge boxes of like the Hallmark style ornaments now. Now, I have a tree out in my dining room right there, which that is going to be our um, collectible ornament tree. So all of these ornaments that I have out here are going to be put on that tree. Now, I used to save all of the boxes, all of like the Hallmark boxes and stuff. Um, I don't do that any longer. Ever since I bought these little tubs or these little bins, and I believe I got these at Walmart a few years ago, but ever since I bought these, what I've gone and done is I actually cut the um, the front or the picture off of the Hallmark, Hallmark box. And then on the back, I will write whose ornament it is and the year that we got it. So that way I can just store it with the ornament so we know exactly you know, which ornament was whose and when they got it. And I do that for all of our like collectible ornaments. And, Literally, we have so many different ones. Um, we tend to like like a lot of the Disney themed ones. This one I think was Alyssa's from 2009. And so yeah, it's just a really easy way. Um, if the box fits in the container, I will just keep the box. Like for example, this one right here. A lot of them I've written on the inside cover. Like this was Sean's um, and this is probably from when he was younger. And this was uh, 1988. So yeah, this was like when he was um, 10, 11 years old, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'll do with the smaller boxes. I'll just keep the smaller boxes if they fit. Um, but if they don't fit, I will cut the picture off and put the date on the back. So all of these ornaments right here, which I've got so many of them, um, we will put on this tree out here, which that's probably what we're going to be doing today. Another thing that I do with my Christmas ornaments is I date all of my ornaments as well. So I will also date the, I will, I will cut out the top and date that but I will also date the actual ornament itself. So like this one, for example, um, this one was mine from 1996. So I think Sean had bought me this. This was the first ornament I think he bought me back in 1996. So yeah, so I just like write on the back of the ornament, um, you know, who it is and the date that it was received. And um, I do that for most of the ornaments that we have, like these Alyssa actually got last year, 2015. Um, but yeah, I just, I like to remember when we got them and it's just fun memories when we open up this box to kind of just look through everything and like see the dates and then that brings back memories of, you know, when we actually got them. And um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much my method of storing my Christmas ornaments. I have, um, we also do the hide a pickle. So we hide our pickle ornament in the tree and um, there's actually a special present that um, when you find the pickle, you get the special present. So we have that. So we actually do the pickle for Alyssa and then we do the hide a peanut for Jameson. So they, they both can look for different um, ornaments and when they find their ornament they get a special prize for finding that ornament um, so we do those Sean and I have our turtle doves that we actually got for a wedding gift so we have we each have one those go on our tree um, we have I don't know just all of our like keepsake ornaments uh, every year I also get a glass ornament and 
So some sort of a glass ornament I get. I believe this is the one that I got last year. Um, again, this one was too big to go in these containers. So what I did was I, I actually dated the back 2015. And then I keep the boxes. If they're too big, I will just keep the boxes that they go in. I do have a few of these larger boxes. But that's the one that I had gotten last year. So I have quite a few glass ornaments that I store that way. Um, and then these boxes that are too big will just go in a bigger box and I um, label the bigger box glass ornaments. So I have I have a bunch of those boxes now. All of our ornaments and everything we have, we have a storage area down in our basement. Our basement's finished, so we have a big section that's like a living area and then we have a big section that's a storage area. So all of our ornaments and decorations are stored down in our basement. Um, but yeah, so this is how I basically store all of our Christmas ornaments. And again, it's the same exact method for like my Christmas bulbs, my glass bulbs, my glass. Um, I'll just kind of show you out here. Again, my dining room table is like covered in like Christmas stuff still. But I do have these large bins, which each bin is designated for like a different themed item. Like this one right here happens to be all of my, these are all of my snowmen. So I have like a bunch of snowmen in this one. So that's designated all to snowmen decorations. And then I have another one. I mean, those are empty, I believe. I think I've emptied those out already. I have another one over here that's just got like random um these this one right here is all like my white and silver which again i've used a lot of the white and silver in my decorations this year so um i'm actually still working on this box like emptying it out but that's what i do i like separate all the ornaments like boxes inside these tubs and so there is a method to my madness <laughs> um so I, I like sometimes I'll just like empty a box out and just spread it all over the table and then kind of like organize it from there and then narrow it down. Um, like I have a box that's full of ribbon, which I've been using a lot of my ribbon. So I pulled all the ribbon out that I was using this year. So I do have a box full of ribbon. I have a box full of lights. I have a bo I have boxes full of greenery. Um, so literally I just do boxes for each like grouping of items. That's for the most part how I store and organize all of my Christmas decor. Um, so it's actually December 1st today and my hopes was that I was gonna be completely done with all of my Christmas decorating by today. And as you can see, I'm not. Now our ornament tree in our dining room, um, I've gone ahead and done like a crisscross themed ribbon on it and this is another technique of ribbon that I like to do. And this ribbon is actually really easy to do. Basically what I'll do is I'll start with the front of the tree first and I'll create a piece that's long enough to go from um, close to the top and about two thirds of the way down. So I'll, I'll have a piece that goes like this and then I'll have another piece that goes like this. And so I'll secure it in the back and I'll, um, so they'll almost meet up in the back. You could actually do one long piece if you wanted, but I find that it's easier to work with two smaller pieces. So I will do, um, I'll secure them in the back first and then I'll come around, pinch it in the center right here with a little branch and then pull it down to the side again and secure it down there. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. I will pinch it right in the center where the first one was so it creates like this X in the front of the tree. And I will do that for the bottom and I'll do that for the sides and kind of go all the way around the tree. So that's the theme of the ribbon that I'm gonna do for this tree this year. Now. Since this is our ornament tree, it gets 
filled with ornaments. So I don't do a whole lot of other decorations on it. I am going to be using these red berries right here. I have a bunch of these red berry sprays or red berry picks. So I'm going to actually stick these all in randomly around the tree before I start hanging the ornaments. And that's gonna be about it that I'm gonna use for like fill or for decorations for this tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I went ahead and filled in all of the red berries and I also had this poinsettia pick which I just stuck in the top just for that's going to be my topper for the tree and it's just a poinsettia with some leaves and a few berries and um, so yeah very simple this tree because like I said it gets filled up with all of our family ornaments so I don't like to do anything too much because I like the ornaments to be more of the focal point for this tree. So now we're gonna go ahead and put those ornaments on the tree.